Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an inexpensive or no cost security camera system assuming that you have an older iPhone sitting around the house that you can use as a camera device. That's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. So if you haven't had the opportunity to subscribe yet to this channel, I encourage you to do so. I have home improvement ideas and solutions. I repair things around the home as well as I also do uh, tech videos, things like home security. I feature some of my camera systems in place as well as the uh, smart things devices that I have uh, which are controlled with some of my Alexa devices. So if that sort of thing interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button and when you do, make sure to click that notification bell. That will ensure you get notified anytime I place new content up on the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to install this no-cost camera system, you'll need an old iOS device. This happens to be an iPhone 4S that we haven't used for years and you will use this particular device as your camera. So you will set this up in the area where you want to detect motion. The other thing you need in addition to an old iOS device is the Presence app. You'll want to install that Presence app on both of your iOS devices, your old iOS phone that you'll use as the camera and your newer iOS phone that you want to use to be able to be notified if any activity is detected on the old iOS phone. When you install the app on both phones, you'll do a setup. It's important to remember that when you set up the app, you want to use the same login and the same password to activate both apps. Once they're connected, you have the option to set up a number of rules uh, as well as have a geofence setting so that when you leave home you'll be automatically notified if there's any activity or motion detected in your home. Let's show you how that's done. So I'm using my current day-to-day -day phone and I've already installed the Presence app on that phone. As you see right here, I'm going to click on that app. You'll see this startup screen and you'll hit this new user button to sign in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hit the sign in button because I've already set myself up as a new user. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the sign in. So we'll click that and I'll use my phone to sign in. And hit the sign in. All right, so as you can see, I have one camera and device set up. That's because I've already uh, installed the app on my old 4S phone and used the same login and ID on that phone. And it recognized that uh, uh, the phone within the first app that I installed on my regular day-to-day -day phone, and it's available for motion recording. So that's all there is to set up. It's very easy. So once your phone is connected, it's ready to begin recording motion, but there is so much more to this app. You can create rules so that when your mode changes, currently it's in home mode. And if I click on that, it'll show me that, it, it, that I am currently home. If you can have it so that when you're in away mode, that that's the only time that it records and notifies you of any activity. Um, you can have this done automatically. If you'll see down here at the bottom, there is a geofencing feature that is currently off. If you turn that on, the app will detect when your regular device is away from home, and then you can set some rules so that it will automatically start recording any motion that occurs in your absence. The other thing you can do when you return home, you can have a rule that turns off motion detection so that no activity is recorded once you're in the home. So there's very much you can do with this app. It's very versatile. I want to show you a little bit on the website what it looks like. Uh, so I'm going to go to that app and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And you see down here where it's loading and uh, it's currently in home mode. 
So it shows here that there's two cameras and devices detected. My camera phone, which is the old iOS device, it's currently off. We can turn that on. And my current phone, which is also connected. So now what I like to do is take my camera phone and I'm going to set it up in our living room facing our front door and then I'm going to set the device my my phone to away mode so that it will pick up on any motion that is detected and we'll see how the uh, camera performs when I uh, open the door and come into the house. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay I have my old iPhone my iPhone 4s set up on our coffee room table as the camera and I have that camera pointing over here to our front door. So what I'm going to do is uh, come in that front door and uh, we'll see if my motion is detected and how it's recorded on the iOS device. Let's try it. Okay, I'm outside my home at my front door. Let's go ahead and enter and see what happens. Okay, before I enter, I'll let you know that you're going to hear a chime when I open the door. That's because my SmartThings has a sensor on all my exterior doors, and I have it set to chime whenever my door opens. So you'll hear that. That's a dome siren that's emitting that chime. And uh, if I was in away mode on my SmartThings uh, sensor, it would actually activate the alarm and you would hear a siren instead of a chime. So let's go ahead and enter and see if we get a good recording. Entering the door and I've been notified that motion is detected and that it is recording as you see there. So I'm going to attempt to lift this diffuser that's on the uh, coffee table here next to the door and get away with it and we'll see what happens on the recording. Let's check it out. Okay, before I show you this clip, I want to make a point that this clip was recorded with a iPhone 4S, so the video quality isn't the greatest. If you have a newer iOS device, obviously the video quality is going to be much better than what you're going to see here. Uh, so if I go to videos and pictures, you can see there's a recording down here. So if I click on videos and pictures, there is the recording that I made and uh, I can view it. This is my iPhone, I can view it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. We can go to full screen. And I'm gonna turn the orientation of the phone so you can see the whole thing here. So there you see. And I'm gonna show you the same thing on the web app as well. It just, I've got it in a loop mode, so it's just playing over again. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. And I'm gonna go to the, the web version. Uh, you can see the address up here. It's app.presencepro.com. Uh, and then you can uh, just log in with the same username and password that you established previously. So I'm going to go to videos and pictures here. And again, here you can see that same video. And I'll let that play so you get an idea what that's like. By the way, notice you can download this video as well if you wish. So let's go ahead and play that and we'll go to full screen. So again, not the best resolution, but again, we're talking about a iPhone 4S. But it does work. I did get a notice on my iPhone that stated that activity was detected and that it was being recorded. So that's pretty cool. So uh, to wrap this up, I uh, just wanted to thank you for watching today. And uh, if this was something you found useful, maybe you can check out the links below. I'll leave links on how to uh, access the app and uh, the web link as well. Uh, 
uh, so you can check this out. Maybe something that you'll find useful as a inexpensive alternative to purchasing uh, other security cameras. And by the way, I'll show you here real quick. In addition to using your iPhone as a present sensor, they sell all kind of devices uh, so that you can use these like I'm using the entry sensor with the smart things also have uh, a camera here a water sensor uh, different kind of temperature and touch sensors humidity sensors so they've got a full line of products and also you can buy kits uh, that appears they're currently sold out with so might be something you want to check out and if this video was helpful to you I would appreciate if you could give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time bye for now